colon cancer shares many risk factors with heart disease, including obesity, lack of exercise, smoking, alcohol, and poor diet. It's known as one of the most preventable cancers, yet it's the second leading cause of cancer death worldwide. It's a topic that every person needs to be aware of. While eating plenty of nutrient-rich vegetables is the main diet message, there are certain foods that are shown to have an outsized benefit. So today, we'll look at seven of the best foods that prevent colon cancer, including some you might not know about, some that can easily be added to every nighttime meal, and important tips for enhancing nutrient absorption so you get more benefit from foods you may already eat. Make sure to take note of this. Stick around until the end, because we've got two free gifts that will help you fight heart disease naturally. And remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. First up, we have Omega-3. A number of studies have linked omega-3 with a lower risk of colon and other cancers, largely due to their anti-inflammatory effects. Chronic inflammation can damage DNA and lead to mutations, which over time may result in cancer growth. Omega-3 fatty acids reduce the production of inflammatory cytokines, thus preventing the problem before it begins. Researchers from Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center conducted a study and found that women who ate fish three times a week had a 33% lower risk of developing colon polyps, small clumps of cells that form on the lining of the colon, and can progress into cancerous tumors. In this study, women who frequently ate fish had lower levels of a hormone called prostaglandin E2 which is connected to the inflammation that precedes polyp formation. Moreover, omega-3 fatty acids also enhance the body's immune response, allowing it to better detect and eliminate cells that could become cancerous. Beyond fish, chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, hemp seeds, seaweed, and algae also contain omega-3. However, plant-based omega-3s are not well utilized, Thus, you'd need to eat more of these to get the same benefit as fish. Now, fish can be a tricky topic, so you may like to watch our other video on 7 kinds of fish you should never eat. We also cover the healthiest options in that video too. We'll leave a link to it in the description box. At number 6, we have sauerkraut, a traditional fermented cabbage dish. When you ferment cabbage, it produces probiotics beneficial bacteria that promote a healthy gut biome. A robust gut microbiome is crucial in cancer prevention. Your microbiome supports immunity, aids in the absorption of nutrients, and helps to maintain the integrity of your gut lining, preventing harmful pathogens from seeping through the gut wall into your blood. Sauerkraut is made through a process called lactofermentation, where shredded cabbage is mixed with salt and left to ferment. Lactobacillus bacteria are naturally present on the surface of cabbage leaves, and they multiply and create an acidic environment as the cabbage ferments. This not only preserves the cabbage, but also proliferates live cultures of beneficial microbes. When we eat it, these microbes boost our microbiome, the good bacteria living in our large intestine. This environment is inhospitable to pathogenic bacteria, reducing the risk of cancerous growths. The microbiome, or gut bacteria, is important for many aspects of health, but particularly for protecting against colon cancer. Unlike many other tissues affected by cancer, the colon is unique in that it comes into direct contact with digested foods and their byproducts. That's why the microbiome and food choices are extremely important here. For broader health, these bacteria help us to break down food more efficiently, making nutrients more accessible, thus boosting our immunity. Through this mechanism, researchers believe that sauerkraut can also protect against the common cold, urinary tract infections, breast cancer, heart disease, and more. Next up is watercress. Watercress is rich in a compound called gluconostertin, 
When you chew watercress, gluconostatin comes into contact with an enzyme in your saliva, igniting a chemical reaction that creates isothiocyanates, known for their cancer-fighting abilities. Isothiocyanates supercharge your natural defenses, neutralizing carcinogens, substances which come from things like pollution, chemicals in the environment, burnt food, and processed foods. Left unchecked, these carcinogenic molecules can damage the DNA in cells, potentially triggering cancer. Moreover, isothiocyanates in watercress have been shown to essentially suffocate cancer cells by inhibiting angiogenesis, which is the process of blood vessels feeding a tumor. Tumors trick the body into making new blood vessels, supplying the tumor with the nutrients it needs to grow and spread. Think of isothiocyanates like a team of highly trained security guards, constantly monitoring for harmful agents. The more of these isothiocyanates you have circulating your body, the stronger your security against carcinogens. In a trial conducted by Ulster University, participants consumed 85 grams of watercress per day for two months. Blood tests were carried out at the beginning and end of the trial, with scientists finding that watercress reduced DNA damage to white blood cells by a whopping 22% in just two months. But the benefits of watercress don't stop there. This leafy green is a nutritional powerhouse and is ranked number one on the CDC's list of most nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables. Not bad for something previously considered a weed. One cup provides 100% of the vitamin K RDI, essential for heart health, blood clotting, and strong bones, as well as good doses of vitamin C, vitamin A, calcium, and manganese. Incorporating watercress into your diet is as simple as adding it to salads, in sandwiches, or used as a garnish sprinkled over soups and stews. Its peppery taste adds a flavorful kick. Next, we have another nutrient-dense superstar, berries. Berries aren't only delicious low-sugar fruits, they're also a medicinal food. Berries are packed with phytochemicals, natural compounds which offer major protective benefits. Among these, phytochemicals, anthocyanins, and elagic acid take center stage. Anthocyanins are responsible for the rich reds, blues, and purple of berries, and have been shown to slow the growth of pre-malignant cells. The other super compound, elagic acid, is particularly fascinating. In the wild, this acid is part of the berry's defense system. Its tart flavor repels insects, acting as a natural pesticide. Additionally, if an insect does damage the berry, elagic acid is involved in the plant's healing process, aiding in the repair of the fruit's tissues. In our bodies, elagic acid has a similar dual mechanism, neutralizing harmful free radicals and helping the body to repair cells. Some of the most potent berries include blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. That said, many berries offer benefits. A comprehensive 2015 meta-analysis titled Chemopreventive and Therapeutic Effects of Edible Berries found unique benefits for the colon in 23 different berries, including less common varieties like currants, barberry, acai, goji, elderberry, and rosehip. While there isn't a ton of research, some studies show that organically grown berries contain more phytochemicals than those grown with chemical pesticides. It makes sense, really, if the plant doesn't need to protect itself from bugs, it'll stop producing the elagic acid that deters them. So, if it's within your ability, organic berries may offer a strong protective effect, not to mention avoiding the chemical residues. Before we get to the top three, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. 
And could you do us a favor and click the subscribe button below? Okay, let's get back to the video. At number three, we have garlic, a culinary staple with serious anti-cancer properties. A meta-analysis of 11 different studies found that people who consumed the most garlic saw a remarkable 29% average reduction in risk of developing colorectal cancer compared to those who ate the least. The key ingredient in garlic is allicin, a compound that's activated when garlic is crushed or chopped. Allicin helps to inhibit cancer cells in the colon, acting as a protective agent at the cellular level. Allicin also promotes artery relaxation and elasticity, improving blood pressure regulation and reducing the risk of atherosclerosis heart disease. Beyond allicin, garlic is rich in compounds which help the body to detoxify and encourages DNA repair. And of course, garlic is well known for its broader immunity-boosting properties against colds and infections. So, be sure to make it a regular in your meals. As a pro tip, chop your garlic and let it sit for 10 minutes before cooking, allowing the allicin to react with oxygen. Or, if you're up for it, eat some raw. Lab tests show that raw garlic retains significantly more allicin than when it's cooked. Crushing a clove into homemade salad dressings is a great option. At number two, we have another health superstar, turmeric. At the heart of turmeric's power is the compound curcumin. Known for potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, According to research published in the journal Frontiers in Oncology, curcumin has a remarkable ability to target colon cancer cells for destruction while sparing healthy cells. It does this by increasing a protective protein that is only activated in the cancerous cells. While this appears to be a relatively new discovery, published in 2022, other protective benefits that are well established. When it comes to colon health, Inflammation damages the cells that line the colon walls, increasing the risk of cancer. As one of the most anti-inflammatory foods, turmeric shuts this process down before it gets out of control. But that's not all. Curcumin also enhances the body's carcinogen cleanup crew. It does this by modulating the activity of phase 2 detoxification enzymes, such as glutathione, S-transferases, or GSTs which neutralize toxins and aid in the detoxification process. However, the thing with turmeric is that the body isn't very efficient at absorbing it, but researchers found that when you combine it with black pepper, absorption increases by a whopping 2000%. So if you're going to take a curcumin supplement, choose one that also contains piperine, the active compound in pepper. When you're cooking with turmeric, accompany it with cracked black pepper. Other spices also show benefit for cancer prevention, including cinnamon, ginger, cayenne pepper, and oregano. So be sure to use these too. And at number one, we have kimchi. This vibrant Korean dish is made with cabbage, radish, garlic, and chili pepper, each offering enormous benefit in their own right. The ingredients are salted, seasoned, and left to ferment, creating a probiotic-rich superfood. We've already discussed cabbage and garlic. Now add to that chili pepper containing the active compound capsaicin, which has been shown to induce apoptosis, or programmed death in cancer cells. But here's where it gets interesting. Fermentation amplifies all of the benefits enhancing the bioavailability of nutrients and making them easier for the body to absorb. Just like sauerkraut, kimchi also boosts your level of probiotic bacteria, keeping your microbiome strong. Studies have shown benefits for all the illnesses you'd expect, including various cancers, gastrointestinal problems, and heart health, as well as indirect benefits related to anxiety yeast infections, weight loss, and more. Kimchi is a fantastic side dish that can go alongside any meal. We really hope you found this useful. Click the like and subscribe buttons to see more on these topics.